everyone. The right kind of snack taken before and after your workout can play a key role in the effectiveness of your training session. They help you to perform the best and shape your results. I'm Kirtana, nutritionist at Safeguard Family. Let me start by talking about pre-workout snacking. Their primary role is not to provide you with calories but to act as a stimulant. Ready-made or homemade shakes can quickly add up in calories and negate the hard work you plan to put in at the gym. Many people think that pre-workout snacking is mandatory for everyone, but the truth is not real. It all depends on the time of your last meal. If it is more than two hours, only then you require a quick energy boost to enhance your performance. Eating before a workout is recommended only if you are planning a high intensity interval training or heavy weight lifting. Each individual needs to carefully determine their pre-workout snacking. The right type of snack should provide a burst of energy for resistant workout and spare your muscles from breaking down. Most importantly, in order to avoid a digestive upset during your workout, avoid snack containing high fat, high protein or complex carbs. Some examples of wrong kind of pre-workout snacks are dried fruits with mixed nuts, granola bar, Greek yogurt with granola and berries, apple and peanut butter, oatmeal with peanut butter and fruit, etc. So before starting a workout, ask yourself one question. Was my previous meal less than 3 hours ago? If yes, then there is no need for snacking. If not, you can snack till 45 minutes before an exercise. Now, coming to post-workout snacking, again, people think that in order to replenish the energy depleted, they are supposed to have a heavy meal right away. This is partially true, however, the quantity and quality of the food you choose is very important. Consuming a small snack after a workout will help replenish energy and speed recovery. Keep the choice of food simple and natural, but make sure that it is a combination of protein and carbohydrate. Concentrate on the food that contains a mix of lean protein and complex carbs because in a post-workout scenario, it lasts longer and can sustain your recovery well. Remember that our bodies can only digest 20 to 30 grams of protein at a time. So do not overload as it is not going to help you in your outcome. That is 2 to 3 tablespoons of protein powder is quite sufficient. Some examples of right post-workout snacks are cottage cheese and fruits, one slice whole wheat toast with peanut butters and sliced bananas, veggie omelets with avocados and half cup roasted potatoes, a chicken sandwich with whole wheat bread, etc. So to conclude, I have some takeaway points for you. First, for pre-workout period, choose simple carbs and mild stimulants. Second, 3 hours post meal does not require pre-workout snacking. Third, for post-workout period, choose a combination of protein, complex carbs to help faster recovery. Fourth, do not overload yourself with a high calorie and waste your efforts. Five, never try new food choices every day. It is always best to limit your experimentation and learn what works for your body. If you want a personalized guidance, we would be happy to hear your queries and solve your health problems. Do reach us on our social channels. Thank you.